Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are a 10 minute talk that give a high level overview or an in depth look at a small portion of a PHP related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for long time speakers to test drive a new talk idea. Right now we have Sam Hernandez. Sam's actually one of my co workers, and he is the first in a series that we have upcoming of where I have convinced co workers to step up and do Lightning Talks. Tonight, Sam's going to be talking to us about an introduction to Craft CMS. Please make sure you visit Joined In after the talk and leave Sam some feedback. Sam, I'm going to give you presenter. Okay, great. All right. Well, this is just a lightweight introduction to Craft CMS. Um, as Joe said, my name is Sam Hernandez. I'm a developer at Vector Media Group. Um, Vector is in New York City. I'm actually in Austin because I like the tacos here. Um, why Craft? Craft, actually, I love Craft mostly because Craft has made my life, my development life, really enjoyable. It's improved the quality of my life, I think, that way. And I actually want you to be as excited about it as I am, honestly, so we can generate more demand for it so that I can keep using it. And I'm not kidding at all about that. But really, why not choose from some other options? I mean, there are some solid options out there. I've done a bunch of work in Expression Engine, Drupal, and WordPress, and I'm sure a lot of you have too. Um, by the way, as of today, Expression Engine 3 just launched a couple days ago. That's really exciting, but in this talk, I'm actually referencing Expression Engine 2, to be fair. For expression, I'm sorry, for uh, content management systems, really for me, it's all about the learning curve, right? So every CMS has a learning curve, and I realize that this graphic is old and probably only funny to me anymore. Um, actually, it's really sad because it's a somewhat accurate description of my experience. <laughs> But uh, Craft is a lot different than these other content management systems. What I would call the Middle Ages era, if you can remember it about 10 years ago, uh, you know, writing a content management system is hard, right? And 10 years ago, it wasn't as easy. You had to write everything from the ground up. So a lot of systems that were developed or born at that time were built from the ground up. And they tend to have non-standard APIs, and they tend to have quirks. And if you've ever played with the Drupal render pipeline, you know what that quirk is. Expression Engine has a lovely template language, but it has the parse order issues every once in a while to overcome. And WordPress, honestly, I love WordPress. I'm not going to lie. It is my big favorite quirk. It's just one big quirk. But nowadays, uh, what I would call the PHP Renaissance era, we expect applications to be built with familiar components. There are already some great PHP frameworks out there to choose from and some proven template em engines. And modern applications make every effort to provide predictable APIs to use. And you don't have to reinvent the wheel anymore because there's a lot of uh, really nice PHP components out there to pick from already. So Craft was born on the cusp of the PHP Renaissance, I like to say. It's really just a PHP application that's built on familiar components. So it's built on the Yee PHP framework. It uses the Twig template engine, which is a symphony package. So that lets Craft focus on being the best application it can be by letting the other maintainers manage those core components. Users absolutely love it, and developers love it too. All you have to do is Google, and you'll find a lot of love for Craft. Um, one of our clients at Vector is Associated Press, and we ported over a couple of their smaller properties to Craft, and I was on a phone call with them just the other day, and they interrupted the phone call just to say, again, how much they appreciate and love the Craft experience. It's a fantastic publishing platform. Craft is a commercial product, but it is free for personal use. It has a limited feature set, but don't be fooled by that. You can do a lot. Actually, if you're clever, you can build just about anything with that personal version. Uh, you can use the pro version for free. You don't have to fork out that 300 bucks if you just want to play with it locally. If you have a local domain like a .dev or a .local, just um, upgrade and it won't ask you for any money. Craft is also not new. And I want to I want to say this over and over again. It's created by Pixel and Tonic. It's been under active development for four years or more, and it's maturing very nicely. It's currently under um, version 2, but version 3 is right around the corner, and that will be built on Yi version 2. And I hear that there's going to be a plugin store where you can purchase plugins right from the dashboard. So if you're a PHP developer, I can't see any better reason than to get into Craft than that. I mean, that's going to be great. Uh, to be clear, what Craft doesn't have is prefabric uh, prefabricated templates like WordPress. You're not going to go into the WordPress, uh, like into the 
admin panel and install pre-fed um, or pre-made templates. It also doesn't have any opinions at all about your code. It doesn't help you at all, which is really great when you're doing custom designs. It's really meant for implementing one custom design at a time for one site at a time. So I could go on with the sales pitch all day, but I want to wrap up uh, this time in this lightning talk with what it feels like. This is a demo site that I use, and it's a bootstrap theme. And I use this demo site that I built to demonstrate some of the problems that we run into as developers with responsive web design. Notice this image down here that's floated to the right. If I drag this down to a smaller screen, then that image, so a lot of times the requirements are that that image has to fill the entire screen. And I drag it back out and it goes to the right again. So in the old days, you would have like go into WordPress and you would expect to be able to put everything in a WYSIWYG and stick in your images and use maybe short codes for your block quotes and all of those kinds of things. But responsive web design has really killed it. I mean, the WYSIWYG is dead. <clears throat> so the way Craft overcomes this is with a very special field called the matrix field. And if we go in and look at this entry, you'll see that this field right here is called news content and it's a matrix field. And each little block of content has its own um, segmented area. So as a developer, this makes it great for you because you can treat these very specially. Now, if you're the end user, you may be wishing at this point that you had your WYSIWYG back and that you could stick everything in here that you wanted to, because how can you visualize what this is going to look like and actually publish with any sense of confidence? Well, if the WYSIWYG is dead, long live the WYSIWYG. Craft has live preview. And I don't think that the value of this can be overstated. As you make changes to your text here, you see them appear in the right panel as you do them. So I can go down here to this image and make it go center if I want to. And you get the idea. I can go down here and I can add more blocks of text and it just magically appears. And then when I'm, I can also change the source order. What's really cool is if you have really nice looking components here, your user feels like they have a ton of control over the design. So we'll go ahead and click done and I'm pretty confident and I can just click save and continue editing. So let's look at this matrix field and see what it looks like. Here's our matrix field and it has all these blocks with, and each of those blocks have those fields on them as well. What it looks like in the actual template is this. When that page loads, I have a, an entry variable that's deposited into this template that I can just start using. And on that entry, I love the dot syntax nature of Twig templating, by the way. On that entry, I have a variable called title, and I also have that news content block. So all it takes here is to iterate over that news content block, and I will include blocks slash and then whatever the type is. And you see this tilde is Twig's way of concatenating strings here. So the first time through, if it's text, it's going to load blocks text right there. The next time it might load an embed, or the next time it might load a slideshow. One last thing, I think I'm coming close to the end of my time here, but I want to show you just one more thing about fields and entities in Craft. If you notice, keep this in mind, this caption for the slideshow is coming off of the image, not the entry. We'll go back to the admin panel, and first of all, look at how the news channel was set up. As you create your fields, you can add them to the field layout just by dragging and dropping. It's that simple. If you like, you can add a new tab, and drag those over there. That is really handy. But not only can you add fields to things like entries, you can also add them to assets or users. So here's my asset settings, and here's the upload destination for those images. But notice I have a field layout here as well. So I can add as many fields to those captions or to those images as I want to. And the way that plays out in the administration panel is that your user can go right here and double click on this photo and that caption image or that caption field shows up right there and they can just edit it. And now that caption will 
go uh, travel with that photo wherever it appears in the um, on the site. And I think that's pretty brilliant. So that's really um, all I have. I know this is an abrupt ending, but I'm leaving it abrupt on purpose because I want you to be uh, very curious about craft and I want you to go check it out. So um, that's pretty much it, Joe. Um, thanks for listening. Catch me on Twitter um, or in the Craft Slack channel if you drop in there. Awesome. Thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email joe at nomadphp.com. Please make sure you visit joined in and leave Sam some feedback.